Hey everyone, Laszlo Montgomery here. Thanks for tuning in to the Chinese Sayings Podcast. Today we have a short one. In fact, in all the years of this educational family program, this just may be the shortest one ever. But that doesn't diminish the lesson it teaches. All of us all over the world grew up with our own versions of this Chengyu. Kong Rong Rang Li. This one that harkens back to my younger days growing up in Chicago and reading Highlights magazine, that popular American children's periodical that first came out in 1946. Aside from all the educational stories and features, Highlights also included moral lessons that were conveyed through the comic strip, Goofus and Gallant. Those were two brothers. One was a model child in every way, thoughtful, selfless, mature, kind, generous, and always thinking of others. That was Gallant. And his brother Goofus, well, he was just the opposite. And in every issue, the moral lessons learned through these two brothers' actions taught me and millions of other youngins over the years. Well, in China, they didn't have Goofus and Gallant, but they did offer up the same moral lessons, which I guess kind of shows how humanity and Human decency is universal. And this Chengyu, I am sure, was hammered into the minds of many children growing up in China and greater China. Emma, too. Even in her own lifetime, she had this one downloaded into her random access memory. And to teach all the youngins growing up, whenever their parents saw them straying from these virtues or displaying selfish behavior... They'd make sure to tell their kids to be like Kong Rong. He's the star of our Chinese saying today. Kong Rong Rang Li. His name was Kong Rong. Rang means to give way, to give ground, yield, give up, offer, and to allow. And a Li is a pear, you know, the fruit. Kong Rong gives up the pear. Hard to say what that means without having had this story pounded into you during your childhood. This story well, it may be a fable, but Kong Rong, he was a real person. He has his own Wikipedia page and everything. And he lived during the Eastern Han between the years 153 and 208. He was a famous literatus and court official, as well as a 20th generation descendant of Confucius, who he shared a surname with. Kong Rong was also one of the seven scholars of the Jian'an period, the Jian'an Qizi, whose poetry was highly regarded in its day and well, throughout Chinese history. Scholar and upright official he may have been, but Kong Rong lived during dangerous times. Those raucous years during the last decades of the Han Dynasty when Cao Cao, Yuan Shao, Dong Zhuo, and others were contending to take over the leadership of China from the rotting and decrepit Eastern Han. Kong Rong was an outspoken critic of Cao Cao, whose policies he always had something unflattering to say about, and he let it all hang out and feared not any retribution from this unpredictable warlord. He spoke up both to Cao Cao's face and behind his back, and one day... He went a little bit too far with his critique of Cao Cao's leadership, and an outraged Cao Cao decided to act. He not only had Kong Rong executed, he also killed his whole family. And despite his untimely death, Kong Rong lived on both in the poems that he left behind and in the following story from his younger days. Now, this tale comes from multiple sources, but it was first recorded in the new history of the Tales of the World, the Shi Shuo Xin Yu, written in the beginning of the Northern and Southern Dynasties period. And this volume was a collection of recordings of the words and deeds of famous people up to that period in the 5th century. It's not technically a history, since... And it doesn't follow the strict generic conventions required of a history. So this work is classified as a xiao shuo, or fiction. And it goes like this. When Kong Rong was about four years old, he and his five elder brothers and one younger brother were offered a bowl of pears to share. Kong Rong was handed the bowl of fruit first and told to take one and offer the rest to his siblings. 
So he stuck his little hand in the bowl and pulled out the smallest pear. Then he handed the bowl to his brothers, who each selected the remaining larger-sized pears. The adults around him saw this and asked, "Well, why did you give away all the largest pears? And Kong Rung replied, I am the smallest, so by rights, I should have the smallest pear. And his father asked him, But what about your younger brother? He's younger than you, yet you handed him a larger pear. Shouldn't you have handed him the smallest pear? And Kong Rung replied, He is younger than me, and as his elder brother, I should look out for him. Everyone exclaimed at his precocity and predicted great things for him in the future. So Kong Rong Zhang Li, Kong Rong gives up a pear. Even to this day, this fable is taught to children and shows that one is never too young to start practicing virtue, wisdom, and maturity. So Kong Rong Rang Li, the story of Kong Rong and the Peers, became so famous and oft cited that by the Song Dynasty, centuries after Kong Rong lived, it was included in the three character classic or the San Zi Jing, a work written in easily memorizable three character sentences that was used to teach children literacy and the basic Confucian principles. The San Zi Jing depiction of the incident goes like this Rong Si Sui, Nong Zhang Li, Di Yu Zhang, Yi Xian Zhi. When Kong Rong was four years old, he knew to save the biggest pairs for his elder brothers. It is good to know early on the relationships between elder and younger brothers. So, that's the story of Kong Rong, a renowned writer in the Confucian tradition from 2,000 years ago. He was celebrated for his poetry, but better remembered for this Cheng Yu, Kong Rong Rang Li. Okay, my thanks to Emma over in the Cheng Yu Yanqiu Zhongxin. She has a younger sister, and for sure, whenever her parents handed her a bowl of pears, she knew to take the smaller one for herself and hand the bigger one to her baby sister. Kong Rong Rang Li, a lesson for us all. Okay, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. This is Laszlo Montgomery once again signing off from Los Angeles. Do consider coming back again next time for another exciting episode of the Chinese Sayings Podcast.